All right, we're going to set this uh, pocket door frame up. Some of you probably saw the first video where I um, demoed this wall and started this bathroom project, which should have been finished. Um, I've been, I worked on this bathroom maybe four days, but I, it's been demolished for a week and maybe six. No, no, a week and three days. Um, it should have been finished, but I've been screwing around doing other stuff on the project. So this is the pocket door frame. Um, it's pretty cool because you get the frame already set up. You don't have to build this in the house, which is kind of cool. And I'm going to use my old door, right? I'm not buying a new door. I'm going to use the old door. Uh, they got locks and everything that'll work on it. I just haven't ordered that part yet. Um, so this is the greatest part. I haven't tested it. As you see, the, it's still in packaging. So I'm going to take the packaging out and then we're going to put it together and see if it fits in this opening. If not, then I'll have to do some re building. And this is the first time I use one of these frames, so we're going to be learning it together. Okay. The track is in here, so when you open it up, you got this in here. This is a trap. And it should pull off. Okay. <laughs> I was concerned. Um, and I'm going to have to look at it. I'm pretty sure and read the instructions. I can tell, though, that these are just shipping parts, the little overhang, because it goes past the door. But as you look, it's a track, it's a frame. Put it on top, boom. But I'm gonna read about it and make sure I put it in there right because I'm not sure which side is the front and which is the back and all that good stuff. So, you're seeing me take it apart. I will pause you when I package it in here. Oh, these blocks definitely have to come out. I'm gonna leave them in there though for now so that I don't knock it out of frame. It'll keep it framed. They stuck the, in, the packaging of bolts and the track, all that stuff. They stuck it in between the framing. Nailed it that way. I mean, it makes sure it won't come out, but it makes it difficult. So, instructions and the packaging of track and everything. So I'm going to read that. I'm going to pause you guys while I read this and figure out what the heck I'm supposed to be doing with this thing. <laughs> and then making sure that I can do it, which we know I can. So anyway, I'm going to do that. I'm going to pause you for a second and uh, we'll be back on it. I'm going to try to get the frame in. I probably won't put the, I may not put the drywall back up, but I can tell you one thing that I thought about. When you're mounting the drywall, you have to make sure you use short screws because you don't want to screw through and then your door be getting scratched every time you close it. So remember that when you're putting a drywall and you just can't just go crazy. Pause. Okay, so the instructions do not tell you which way to do the door. But I figured it out based on a couple of clues. Those two pieces that I saw, I'm sorry. I'm reaching for the track, I laid it down over here. This track has these two little guided pieces on it, on the same end with this, the mounting bracket. So these two are going to mount up to the two on the actual door, these two door. And they got screws already in here pre-drilled. So if I take this track, hope I'm not too close for you guys. I'm going to set it on here. I'm going to back you up so you can kind of see it. i got to find a way to do this straight. Oh, I'm going to flip it around. Okay. It's going to make it harder for me to get to it, though. Just screw it. So, take the door. Boom. There's track pieces. This is the top of the track. I just got the door laying down. So 
So it doesn't tell you that when you're looking at all the stuff. It doesn't tell you which way to do the track. All right? It doesn't tell you that. I'll switch it. That these two little pieces, these little go on the side. See, this is a this is where the door slides in and out of the wall. And then they got two little pieces of trim and this hangout piece. That's the side to go to the other wall. All right. So in this one, from the big I got this frame from a big box store. They have these these screws already here so when I put it on here line it up I can just use their screws to screw into it so that was the hint that they gave you but the instructions for this door is not very good honestly it's not very good at all and I'm sorry I got this camera doing all kinds of crazy stuff trying to get you guys set up but the instructions for the door is not good at all you have to kind of find videos if you don't know what to do and put it together. So I'm going to lay this, try to find space in here. I mean, I wasn't planning on doing all this and lay it down and screw those in that way. And I might try to, well, let me move it over there while I got you going and see if I can figure it out. My room is a mess because... I'm renovating, and so when you renovate, this is what happens. Now I'm gonna try to give you a better view, not of my room, but of process. All right, so this is the frame. This is the bottom of the frame. This is the top. On this kit, the top has is open, just waiting for the frame rail. All right, and then if you look closely, you see the plastic I'm laying it on. There's two screws. And now the rail, this is the rail. If you look at the rail, one side has these double pieces of one by, and then it also has a mounting piece. That side is gonna be your opening side. So the door will go into the pocket, into the wall on this side, and then when it comes out, it's on that side. And I guess they put them there to make sure the door doesn't flop around or whatever. I'm not sure. They put a ton of staples in it. I thought I got them all out, but I see I got another one I got to get out. I'm going to pause you while I get that out because that's just basics. So this is the most important part of it. Um, obviously, you're going to have to have the rail level and all that. But this is the most important part of making sure you have the rail facing the right way. So this is a rail. And on the side where you see the two extra pieces of wood one by that goes on the side of the wall where the door will slide into it that is key this part over here where you see this whole frame this is going to be inside your wall nobody's going to see this part that's the side you put the empty so my door sliding out that way to get this frame on i'm going to put it on like this so that the two extra pieces are on the outside of it. All right, it's the same end where they got the mounting bracket on. Put that on the side where the door closes. This is the side where the wall will be. All right, so I'm gonna mount that right there. Um, I'm hoping that helps. And then once I get it mounted, I'll show you it put together and hopefully you'll see. But all I'm gonna do now is screw those two bolts they already, I mean screws they already had in there into that. And then you have to screw or nail into this pre-drill all of this stuff because this is one by and it will crack and split on you and you don't want that all right so i put those two screws in and gonna try to bring it over so you guys can see all right so here it is let's take it a loose so here it is. So this, let me turn this thing. Bathroom still under works, but it's getting close. This side is where it's gonna be a wall. So this goes in the wall and then this overhang goes on that side. So that's the biggest part about the pocket door that you have to know. It's how to mount a track. So 
See how those one buys line up? I thought this was, I thought that was for shipping, but it's not. It's the mount there. And then these stay in until you're ready to hang your door. Once you're ready to hang your door, then you take those out. So the, the blocks, boom. And then you're good to go. And you see down here, got the mounting brackets. This bracket right here and right there for the floor. And then you mount it to the wall on that side. And that's it. You can just set it in there. Um, I need to shim out mine because I made my opening a little. Um, and I don't even have wood here to do it. So I'm probably going to have to go get some wood. I think I, oh, you know what? I don't know what I got. I don't know how, but I knew. Yeah, see, it's a two by four gap right there. So I got to put a two by four. And I did that because I thought over here, if you look in that corner, since this is a pre-existing wall, I didn't know how I was going to mount to the drywall, but it worked out. I actually had enough space to mount back to the drywall with it. But oh well, I'm going to put a 2x4 in there and shift the door over a little bit. Oh, you know what? Maybe I won't do that. Maybe I'll put the 2x4 on this end. That way it'd be easier to trim out. I can put the 2x4 right here. I'll show you the gap that I'm talking about. I was thinking about putting it, oh, I'm sorry. I was thinking about putting it into the wall. All right, so up here, see that gap? It should be flush. And it's a two by four gap for a stud. And I was just gonna scoot it over this way. And then do it by pushing this over this way. But now I'm deciding I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna put a two by four here. And then that, because if I push it, I'm so close you guys can't see back up. Because if I take this frame and push it this way, what will happen on the floor is I'll just have to cut out more carpet. And I'm not doing that now that I think about it, like whatever. I'm just going to leave it where it is because it's a good spot. Shim out this side with a 2x4, mount it, and we're good. And then we'll finish it off at some point. But I'm going to get it mounted here in a second. I'll show you guys after I find a piece piece of two by four. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to find it. All right. I'll talk to you in a second. Okay, folks. So I put the two by four in. Oh, let me take you over. All right, I'm stepping on everything. All right. So I put this two by four in to go here. I haven't put the header in yet, um, which is stupid. I should just go ahead and put it in. I'm getting ready to put it in now. Um, since I have it. So you put your header back in all that boom and then you can mount the door i'm not mounting this yet i just got it sitting i just got it sitting in here some of y'all saw the bathroom before As you see it's coming along still got a long ways to go well not really a long ways but i still got to finish up some stuff um it would have been finished but i went out of town and i'm coming up with new ideas so anyway but the tub got in that's the biggest thing um so i'm gonna take this out put that header in and then I'm going to probably mount this. I'll turn you back on when I mount it. This header is pretty straightforward.